let's come to exercise 13.2 question number 3 a metal pipe is 77 centimeter long a metal pipe is 70 centimeter long the inner diameter of a cross section is 4 centimeter the outer diameter being 4.4 centimeter find its inner csa and outer curved surface area and total surface area okay i read in short form csa means curved surface area okay. first of all what is the length of the pipe that's called the height of the cylinder the metal pipe is 70 centimeter long the pipe is become 77 centimeter long that means the height of the pipe is become 77 centimeter that is the length of the pipe okay all right and the inner see the inner diameter is given diameter should be converted into radius radius become half of the diameter diameter divided by 2 okay see now the length of the pipe that's called the height length of the pipe we call into height is equal to 77 centimeter okay now inner radius we can find the inner radius radius actually radius become diameter by 2 inner radius takes smaller so now this is a pipe is a hollow cylinder this is the inner circle is a outer circle this is called inner radius this is called outer radius okay right inner radius equal to diameter by 2 what is that 4 centimeter divided by 2 because diameter is 4 by 2 it is become 2 centimeter 2 2 are 4 now outer radius we can say outer radius so we can put the calculator or difference to make so outer diameter is become 4.4 4.4 divided by 2 that means 2 ones are 2 twos are it will become 2.2 centimeter and the first part what do you want we want that inner csa inner cord surface area we record to find out okay inner csa what is csa formula 2 pi csa of cylinder the already given formula csa of cylinder become 2 pi or h 2 pi or h so 2 into pi values we know 22 by 7 radius sometimes the pi value is given you have to check it's not given okay radius the radius become my inner radius inner radius become 2 and height is 77 centimeter square because area comes into square unit volume comes into cubic unit right if the volume centimeter cube okay. 707 7 11 are 77 so let's multiply 2 into 2 4 4 into 22 88 88 into 11 you have to multiply if you multiply 968 is getting 968 and centimeter square Okay, let's multiply. Now the second point, what is that outer CSA? The question second become outer CSA. Outer CSA. Right? So you know what is inner CSA? If suppose cylinder, this is called inner CSA, inside surface. This become outer CSA, outside surface. No, total surface means bottom area, top area, inner CSA, outer CSA. All together, sorry, outer CSA, bottom, top, together is called total surface area. Okay, all right. Now you can see now, right? Outer CSA, what is outer CSA? See now, outer CSA become 2 pi, CSA means 2 pi R H, okay? 2 pi R, bigger R, outer radius, right? Your inner radius, okay? So 2 into 22 by 7 into radius, radius of outer radius become 2.2 into the height is 77 centimeter square 717 711 so if you multiply this all you will be getting into and 10648 okay how many place of decimal you can see now here one place of decimal so one place of decimal so 10064.8 centimeter square now it comes the total surface area okay tsa TSA of the cylinder actually at the hollow cylinder TSA what's the formula 2 pi into R plus R into H plus R minus R this is a formula so let's apply this formula 2 into pi value is 22 by 7 and the bigger R bigger R is become 2.2 
and smaller is become 2 then the height is become 77 plus 2.2 .2 minus 2 okay let's simplify so 2 into 22 by 7 into 2.2 plus 2 then we have 2.2 and 2.0 we are 1 place of decimal we are also 1 place of decimal so 2 this 4.2 okay now it is become 2.2 minus 2 become 0 0.2 plus 77 77.2 see that if you add together this one after that minus it that means 77.0 and 2.2 .2 will be added 297 again minus this added and minus 2 2.0 277 so 77.2. Now let's read it now. 7 and 7. 7, 6 are 42. One place of decimal. So if you multiply this all, you will be getting 2, 2038.08. Because why? Two place of decimal. Here one place of decimal. Here one place of decimal. Two place of decimal. The unit is become square unit. So centimeter square. I hope you understand idea. So let us go to the next question.